Well, hello friends, and welcome back to the caffeinated classroom. It has been a minute since I did a classroom setup video, and that is exactly what I am going to do for you today. I think this is gonna become a series. Uh, it is time for me to do a full classroom revamp because it's just time in my soul and it's time in the, oh, and I have a helper. We're gonna go in, we're gonna do a full redo. I mean, full, cost prohibitive, but you know what I mean, full redo. So let's go in, shall we? Okay, I'm inside and I am completely and entirely overwhelmed. <laughs> like completely and entirely overwhelmed. I will, take you around and just kind of show you what I've got um, to work with here. But I mean, as happens every summer, all of the furniture has been moved to the sides. Why don't I just show you what I'm working with and then I'm gonna see if my executive functioning will take over and I can actually like get moving. I don't know. I told my daughter that after we're here this morning, because it's summer, we can go to the pool and play mermaids and it might be an earlier playing mermaids because mommy's having a small meltdown. Okay, here we go. You can see where I just need a little revamp redo. I've already taken some things down. Um, a little bit more on that. I think I'm gonna make like a real TikTok about that. So if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, you should do so. But everything's been scooted to the side. I've got some things down here that are like on their way out because I'm gonna be occupying other spaces on campus because <laughs> I'm teaching like all the things. Um, I did come in here and move these guys. I'm gonna try not to make you sick as I turn around. Just remember that these used to be somewhere else. Over here is going to be, I think my, first order of operations. Um, I want to make this into something better than what it is. I will show you, you can see back in there. Let me zoom for you. See, see, see d deep down there? That's the hole that time forgot is behind this <laughs> bookshelf because I just have some things in here that I don't want to um, grow legs and walk away. So I've put them back there. There's like a portable air conditioner unit I can see poking out. There are some industrial fans because last year in August, the beginning of the school year, our AC was out and it was like 98 in this room. One thing I do wanna tackle this summer is my teacher space. I am co-teaching every single time I'm in this classroom next year. And so my co-teacher and I need to have really workable space. I think basically this is gonna be like a list all the problems kind of a video and then I'll just show you the solutions as I figure them out. Um, I may or may not have to move this furniture out. Um, got a saucy message about that from somebody. So we'll just see if I have to move them or not. Uh, same thing with like my dining tables. Not quite sure if those are gonna stay in here or not. Hopefully that means then that I'm gonna get some more um, like classroom tables because otherwise I don't know where children are gonna sit other than like the floor. That's my first inspiration piece. I had these already up in the classroom. I have, these are the little crates that go on the tables. If you have not seen any of my like previous classroom tours, you should probably take a look at those. I will link them down below. That's how you go down below. You ask yourself, in the days of Google Classroom, why does Marie still have a full, and it's full, cabinet of files? Filing cabinet is what most people who are fluent in English call that, but I couldn't think of the word. Um, yeah, I don't know, bro, I don't know, okay? It's just there. And then this is just kind of some stuff that I've got. This is where, we remember, we talked about the cabinets that were over there. They used to be back here as a little like table. Turns out the kids hated it. I thought the first year I had them here and I had kids kind of sitting on stools at them. They liked it, it was great. The kids that could stand would use it as a standing desk. Kids that wanted to sit on a stool, sat on a stool and that lasted all of one term. And then they were like, I don't have anywhere to put my knees. And I was like, that is a valid point. So I moved them over there and they're really god awful ugly so we're gonna do something about that at some point in time so that's a lot <laughs> you see why i'm a little bit overwhelmed and also some people well actually if you made it this far in this video you're probably not wondering to yourself why is she doing any of this unless you're just kind of like looking to watch it all burn or something um if you made it this far in this video you're probably like yeah similar i'm like you uh, the, the people that would want to watch it all burn are people that are like, why are you bothering to do all of this? Why are you spending your time in the summer? Because I enjoy it. Because I enjoy it. And that's okay. And if you enjoy it, enjoy it with me. Um, I'm in here so much. I like to enjoy my space. 
and students the data that I have from kids of just like feedback of I love being in here that gives me all the motivation and all the reasoning I need to give them a space that makes them feel comfortable, makes them feel welcome, makes them feel a bit safe while they're at school, right? Like that's what we're going for here. We're gonna go and start, I don't know. I just gotta, gotta I don't even know what else is back there. Hopefully I don't find any like furry friends. Let's make sure that Ratatouille is nowhere near us. Um, wish me luck. doing everything I can not to let the overwhelm set in. I cleared that out, moved it a bit. I have ideas, which I will tell you about in a moment. I have all of the books from there on the floor. I think what I need to do is categorize them because some of them are theater books and they're gonna need to go across campus to the theater because I'm gonna be teaching drama again. Some of them are PD books. Some of them are Shakespeare and he gets his own space. And some of them are going to be passed on to a new home like the little pets that they are. And a few are gonna be really good for taking home for my own child because they're like middle grades and I think they'll be a good stretch for him. He's going into fifth grade. Um, that I like didn't even know I had. <sighs> I do have a couple of really funny ones. So I found a bag, you probably saw me remove a bag of donations. In that bag were two books that are, oh, okay. That are a little bit contradictory. The first one, Following Jesus. Um, it's discover how to know and follow Jesus. I just found that, I mean, knowing you're giving this to a public high school, I found that funny. Because in the same bag is erotic poems. Do with that what you will. Okay. I think I want to make this a reading corner. What I'm going to do is I have that chair over there that if I get to keep it, I'm going to recover it. I have a new color scheme coming. I just have to figure out what it's going to be. And the chair can go right here. Some sort of a something, maybe like a reading garden situation, like go old school bulletin board tree status. So that'll be cheap and easy. And by easy, I mean my mom will do it. Very easy for me. Um, and then I have this rug that I've had for a long time that could go, it could be a whole like, I don't know, chart your something. It's, it's coming. It's coming. This has to go because it's time has, it needs a new home as well. Some of the books need a new home. This needs a new home. Uh, you can see the things that I was hiding because I didn't want them to disappear. They just need a new hiding place. Storage. It's a hiding place. And then I think that a nice little reading nook will be cute over here with the things. And then anything that I book talk can go over here. Not necessarily what we're reading for class, but just like reading for reading's sake. Okay, this is all going to be projects that I will make other videos on, but at least for now, it's time to sort some books. So I'm feeling like I probably should have began this video with a disclaimer, which is that not a whole lot is going to get done because um, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Not like completely, but definitely I'm listening to my mind and body and this is where I need to stop. I will however show you, I went through the books that I took out of there and I like made them into piles and now I have ideas of what I'm gonna do next. It's just not gonna happen today because I'm gonna hyperventilate. <laughs> This is where we're gonna stop. It is time to go play mermaids very soon. So I'm going to get these up and off the floor because I don't know when the carpets are gonna get clean and I don't wanna leave them in the way for other people doing their jobs. Um, but going to make some progress. I've got some ideas for the reading nook, which is going to be including, actually my daughter had the idea of including like coloring things so that kiddos can go listen to audiobooks and do something with their hands, it's not just on their phone. Um, so that's gonna be a good idea. I need some sort of a display for something that's like a book of the week or something like that, that I could book talk. Maybe I start with Monday, a little book talk, and then have that book of the week up on display in the reading corner, and just some other things. I don't quite know exactly what I'm gonna do. I have committed to that back, this wall over here in this corner, being a legit classroom library, just where all of the books go that aren't personally mine or some, hit myself somehow on display. 
Don't really know what I'm gonna do with erotic poems or poetry or whatever that was, but maybe I'll put it in the giveaway bag with following Jesus and just see if somebody else can have the delight that I had, which was finding those two paired together. Anyways, more on that to come. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe so that you can see what happens with erotic poems. Obviously, it's gonna go somewhere from here. So, I'm gonna make this a series. Get excited, summer 23. We're revamping the whole classroom. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you.